Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a progress update. Uh, I don't know if it's day five or six or six and seven uh, with the crit cabalist summoner that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my devotions since this should be one of the major things that's changed. Now remember, if you are stuck or struggling with how to get here with your devotions, you can go through the previous videos. I have uh, pinned the comments of people who have found out what I did and or you can just go on to Grim Tools and just do it yourself because like I said, I don't really remember because there's a lot of snapshotting involved with this. So first thing, I ended up removing Scorpion and picking up Fiend. The main reason why is this defensive... Uh, ability reduction is just not nearly as strong as what Fiend gives you, uh, which gives you Flame Torrent, which I can actually show you guys here if you want to see it. So I'm going to go up to a training dummy here. Now these skeleton, the Vanguard dudes, whatever they're called, have a vitality damage aura. And if you look when I go close to it, it'll start taking damage. Now if you look at the crits, now this is with no buffs or debuffs or anything, so don't expect to actually get a, a real damage number here. But the 11k crit should be the flame torrent that you see there. And this is for every single skeleton that can roll and hit it. So if I were to attack this, you're going to see much more, of course. And then if I were to say, for example, do this, 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 and this. There we go. It should be like quite a few more procs. And the dummy's actually dying in ultimate, but that's beside the point. The other thing that we decided to pick up is we changed out, uh, or we added Elemental Storm and we attached it to our Hellhound so he actually has a pretty good use. And this reduces their Elemental Resistant by a flat amount which scales with our Curse because it's percentage. Uh, and this also will scale the Flame Torrent. And I did also go 12 points into Hellfire here because this gives them flat Chaos damage which is just good to scale with because of all your minion damage scaling. And it gives a fire damage and chaos damage aura to your minions. Uh, I don't remember how much of this I covered in my previous video, so I do apologize. You guys can see my skill tree right here. Um, now note that your build might just look a little bit different because anytime you get plus the skills, you can kind of remove points. Like you don't have to spec into Undead Legion and get it 13 out of 12 because it doesn't get an extra skelly until like maybe 15 or 16. So you can save a point and put it somewhere else. That's why, for example, I have like eight points in Spectral Binding or maybe six, however much we have. And then you can see the Occultist side here. I don't think we've really changed too much. Uh, maybe put some points in Aspect of the Guardian. I did remove, uh, I had Ill Omen before, but I removed it for Doombolt just because Doombolt and Shepherd's Call synergize very well. That aside, uh, with my gear, I'm just going to go ahead and hover over my gear really fast and you guys can see it. Uh, I think the major changes is basically we are, these are, have not changed at all. I did end up crafting a Mythical Beast Collars Cowl, which was kind of annoying to craft because of the Manticore eyes, but very, very strong. Ended up replacing my OG Nepesh for a Mythical Dread Guard as well. And this is really poo-poo, this metal right here. And that pretty much covers that. So I want to go ahead and just show you guys again some little content. I guess I could go do like a last boss. Well, it's not the last boss anymore, but we're going to pretend like it's the last boss. All right, boys. Now, I haven't done much in terms of like uber bosses and stuff. I can kill like Mad Queen um, and like all the guardians in the hidden pathway. Mad Queen is not like a face tank, like it's actually like takes a couple minutes. I guess it could take like 60 seconds, but you really do have to kind of move around in the fight because of her like reflect mechanic and her insta give mechanic and a couple other stuff. Oh, that's an actual like dude, just kidding. Champion returns. Hey, much appreciated, Shy, with the resub, man. Everything has been pretty smooth so far. Um, Nemesis bosses haven't been too bad either. The Beast Nemesis boss is pretty scary because I think he does bleed damage. And bleed has been the most difficult thing to acquire for my minions of recently. I can see they're pretty much... They're pretty good on everything. Their Aether and Chaos suck. Their Bleed and Pierce suck too. 
there is like a, a really rare component craft you can do, but the component is uh, it's one of the new ones, so it requires quite a few materials. Mythical Alchemist Belt? You know, I got confused because I'm using a Acolyte <laughs> cord. Now, I decided I don't think I'm going to go with the set I originally planned in the first video, if you guys saw, when I was theorycrafting my build. I think instead, I'm just going to kind of mix and match pieces to try to see what I can do to make my pets as tanky as possible, without, of course, sacrificing any damage from them. And there was a really cool two-hander that I wanted to get. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it gives like a thousand life plus two to your skellies. Um insane amounts of minion damage. I think it's a two-handed axe. So that is definitely going to be our goal if we can ever find it. Hopefully when we get back from TwitchCon uh, and we start pushing like 150 Crucible in Ultimate, we can start farming it there. Oh, whoops, did I go the wrong way? I did... Wait, isn't there supposed to be a guardian there? Or no? No? Just kidding, I lied. There's not supposed to- Oh, that's right, it's at the end of here. There's a guardian right here. I also do want to state that I've made it this far uh, without ever trading. Uh, the only thing I've done in terms- well, I guess not technically without ever, but I have, uh, I play with my buddy Mech Sniper every so often, so at most we just duo. So all of this for the most part has been self-found slash with my friend. Um, so you don't have to trade to get to this point in the game if you guys were curious. I know a lot of people have questions like that. I personally think Grimdon is done pretty well. Um, pretty well in terms of like playing the game self-found. Now, part of the reason why I'm not really fighting a lot of the mobs as well is because I don't really need them for anything anymore. Um, I just need, like, components. For the most part, I'm just hunting, like, the hero mobs and bosses. What is this? Does that say plus two to Necromancer? Oh, it's an Inquisitor. Just kidding, I knew that. run up and then just go through there and that's the boss I have to use my doom bolt more too I keep forgetting I just like replaced it for shepherds I don't want to pop too many cooldowns here either. Actually, my skellies are dying here. Well, all right then, buddy. That skill's not ready. Is this a sigil? It's a metal for doom bolt. Wow. Pure fire damage doom bolt. Well, not pure, but vitality. Vitality can never. Doom Bolt's hybrid, right? Vitality and Chaos. It's Vitality and Chaos. Alright, buddy. So he just like immediately shotgunned and did his skill. That's like the OP skill. That's what killed my guy in hardcore. I can't do that. 
do that. He just did it again! Dude, he just one shot, like all of them. Feels OP boss, man. Worst video to ever try to make. <laughs> Alright, don't do it again now, sir. <laughs> He's lever literally never done it this much, ever. This is usually like a cakewalk. I mean, on the bright side, I didn't really, like, take any damage. Spell Gaze, Legendary Helmet. Nice. You gonna give me a Legendary, buddy? It's okay, we got one on the way here, so that's basically as good enough. And... Poo-poo. Actually... No, Poo-poo. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be about it. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of footage as or uh, where we're at right now. Uh, I could have done like a Nemesis boss, but like I said, the one thing about Grimdon that kind of sort of sucks in a way, it's not really a bad thing, it's that it's hard to showcase certain things with pets because when you're playing a normal build in Grimdon, it, you can usually like kite stuff and outplay mechanics and stuff. The problem is, is when you're playing a pet build and you're trying to showcase it on like nemesis bosses, if your pets don't have the right resistance, they literally just get one shot. And then it just becomes like a, a really annoying kiting game. But hopefully I can show you guys some nemesis content uh, when I get back from TwitchCon or maybe even like before I go, we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much about it. I uh, hope you guys liked the character. Hope you guys have been enjoying yourself. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope to see you guys all at TwitchCon. Take care, everybody.